Okay, Joe. I'll try to go through this slow. Um, and maybe you'll pick it up. I also want to show you a couple other things I don't think you realize you did. As, here's the picture you sent me. As you can see, I can't even see the bottom. Part of that is, look at this white. You didn't crop out when you cropped. Um, you also didn't crop this part. Whoops. You didn't crop this part of your sides out either. I'll do all that and fix it. But the one thing you did do is you have it in 500 pixels. So we're going to have to do some um, we're going to have to do some rearranging on this. The first thing I have to do though, well I won't. I'll do that later. This is how we change this label, okay? We go to our text box. All right? Now, I already know that I have to change the size of my text. That's 48. I can keep it 48. You've already resized this picture to 500. So I'm going to see if I can do it in a 36 font. What size does that give me? Okay, let's click on that text there. See, 36 is going to fit in here much better. Now, I don't know if you can see these lines. Can you see the dotted lines of the text box? What we want to do is we want to make that box as close around your label as possible, okay? Now you see here, this says transparent. <coughs> That's how you wrote your original text, was transparent and you wrote it in a white text, excuse me, you wrote it in white, you wrote it in white. This is how you did your initial label. You did your text, you did it in white, and you did it in transparent. That means we can see through the background. What we need to do is we have to put a different color in the background. That's what makes it opaque, okay? That means we can write over top of it. So I have to find a color for color two, which is our opaque color. And I think I will go with, let's see how that looks. Look at that. See, when I click on opaque, look at that. That's how that shows up. There's that one, there's a darker one. Well, here's this grayer one. No, I don't like that. Pick what color you like that's too bright. Don't like that. Do we like green? No, don't like that one either. I think I'm going to go back to whatever it is I had originally, which was this one. Yep, that's the one I'm going to go for. Right there. Okay? That's my color two. That's okay. Now, I don't know if color one is going to show for our writing, but we will see. I'm going to make one space. Nope, I'm not. Let's see if I can make it this way. E, there we go. I, 66 dash 6. We got it. There is our label. Okay? So that's how I fixed it. You must use, I'm going to go back here again. Just I'm, not, I'm just going to show you. you. Click on opaque to make this background. Opaque is color number 2. Opaque, you have to click opaque. Opaque is color number two. Okay? And you can make it with it. Look at that. You can make it any color you want. But I try to make it so that it looks, you know, halfway decent. If I click on transparent, it does not show. Because transparent is color number one, and that's the color of our text on a transparent or clear background. Okay? All right, I'm going to do a couple other things. Let's get rid of that text box. We have a picture that's way too long. I can't even crop it because it won't roll down. So I'm going to have to resize the length of this picture. I'll go here. Let's see if 600 will do it. Because I've got to crop out the bottom. I've got to crop out this bottom white, and I have to crop out our charms on the side. So, 
The problem is, when you manipulate your picture too many times, it gets fuzzy. It gets pixelated. It doesn't show as clearly. Peter hates that. I don't like that, because see, look at that. It's not way up at the top. I want it as close to the top as I can get. There we go. Our labels included. Actually, because you spliced this picture, we don't need a lot of excess length. Okay, so I'm just going to go right below, just, just below that label. Over here into the charm bar, and then I will crop it. Okay. Well, I think I went wait. I, I went a little bit too close, didn't I? Okay. We just reverse it. I'll try it again. what I did. I moved it before I cropped it. Third time's charm. And our image is getting really small here. So now when I get done with this, I'm going to have to blow it all back up again. And the only thing I'm going to do is just make sure that it's 500 pixels wide. But I don't like these any longer than they have to be. Okay, there we go. Let's crop that. See how it looks. There, we've got the nice one there. Now, something you can do, you don't always... These splice pictures, you know, sometimes they really get long. And sometimes, you know, showing the numbers and the color aren't necessarily a priority. Um, you can actually... I'll show you, but I'll reverse it. I'm not going to do it to you. You can actually... You could have actually gotten away with cropping it here. See? Still get that. And then write in your label. You still have plenty of room for your label. So, you can do that. Because they really get long. Well, I won't do that. If you want to do that, you can. The primary reason for this video is to show you how to fix your labels when you make a mistake. Okay? So right now, I'm just going to go back, and I'm going to look at that. After I cropped it, how small it is. We're going to see how it looks at 500. There we go. Plus, you still have to draw in your links. I see. And you did not, you don't have to correct it, but you're in, you did not mark your bombs in the light blue. That's this color. You're in a darkened area above the chain, and I like the bombs to be in light blue. They show better, okay? Just so I know. Look at this. Oh, it, I did, um, okay. I didn't even see the bombs down here until just now. You could have drawn a line right through the middle of the chain. You didn't have to box and just draw a line through the middle of the chain, and that light blue, and it would have shown. I don't want you to do this picture over. There's a lot of work involved in splicing. But those are a couple things that I picked up. So I hope this helps. There's your picture. I'll send it back to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay? Thanks.